How much difference does that make? Ha! Two extra dockets. Well, I mean, I still need to convert the land. It's going to take 15 months, so the war exhaustion is going to raise a little bit. Rather, rise a little bit. How do you want to call it? I know I couldn't get them home before. How quickly Austria is going to recover. I mean, they lost a lot of land. Yeah, I could have waited with piecing out. I suppose I could have. Fired a level 3 military advisor? Now there's an idea. So it sucks that I didn't get more PP for that. Well, I would have had like a hundred PP for releasing Hungary. And I'm kind of sad that I didn't do that. Although that would have made it last a heck of a lot longer, so... Come on. the plan? Oh, you'll see. Okay, can't return province as well as that war. We have a grand total of 7.8% overextension. That's something to keep in mind. Now, let's see how bad this is gonna be that would be pretty damn bad nah. 
So that's hungry. And he's Sunni. Why not release as a vassal? If I release him as a vassal, he wouldn't be Sunni, he'd be Catholic. Because uh, you gotta have 75% of his cores to be of a different religion than the original in order to make it uh, Sunni, if you were to release it as a vassal. Let's get rid of these forts because they're stupendously expensive. And why am I losing money again? Ah, right, because overextension. But if you have, you know, a different religion, then the chances of them wanting to get vassalized are quite high. Still losing money? Yeah, because I'm spending 30 on corruption spending. Oh my god. I also don't need to be paying for my tra whoops right now. get at the end. Oh, land force limit plus 50%. That's nice. Okay. So they're now my vassal. I'd like to give them a province. This cost me over extension, so they can go deal with that. All oh, right, alliance breaking. Well, <laughs> How can they be my ally and my vassal at the same time? What the hell? Right, so I can't spawn rebels until... I don't know when, but when I can... Let's see, recent uprising, 23. So in 23, we can we can do that shit. Sweden, could you stop doing all of your nonsense on me? Thank you. Most appreciated. So did he rebuild some of his forts? I wonder about that. Oh my god. Oh, he's built a whole bunch of cheap forts. 
Now, I might be able to threaten Denmark for a uh, Neva, and that would really be nice. So let's do it. I can also stop improving relations with you now. Uh, let's improve relations with our only other ally. Now, I could just, uh, what's it called? I could just uh, technically truce break the Austrians. I could just declare on them. And then uh, force them to return their course to Austria. Well, I can't just declare on them, but I can declare on one of the, uh, you know, the HRE states. Oh man, it'd be so nice if I could break that apart. So the dude in Astrakhan can probably go over here. Oh, make myself another five dockets. Not too shabby. Yeah, but they're allied with a whole bunch of people. And, you know, he would be considered a co-belligerent as well, because he's the Emperor. So, even if we have a truce, he's still a uh, co-belligerent. Can't ever really have too much manpower. What to do, what to do. First of all, I'm gonna take off this helmet for a bit. Oh wow, there's so much sweat in here. Holy shit. Made in China. That's not getting. Oh my god, that's so tight around my ears. <laughs> uh, oh, this looks uh, this looks nice. I think I'll wear it like this from now. <laughs> oh god, Declare on Bohemia. Nah, they're my ally, man. They're my ally. I'll declare war on them later. They've got like f fucking four German provinces or some bullshit like that. Do you think it's a necessity to dismantle the HRE? Oh, yeah. I think it is. It would be so much harder if I uh, didn't do that. And I think the best way to do that is just to start vassalizing electors or something. I don't... It's just so difficult to do. Like, I'd like to do that in a single war. That would be ideal. Okay, so hold on. If I declare a war on East Frisia, it's going to bring in East Frisian Ansbach, that's two. I need pen and paper for this. East 
Frisia. So that's one from East Frisia itself, and then there's two, there's seven electors total. There's eight targets that I need to fight. I better count it like that. So there's eight targets, so there's definitely two, because it's East Frisia and Austria. And then there's uh, Ansbach, which is three. Thuringia, wait, who else was in here? Pomerania, Thuringia, and Lubeck. So none of that particularly strikes my fancy. The Knights, Bremen, and Lubeck. Yeah, so that doesn't really do anything for me. So East Physia is three, and then let's see what else is there. There's Augsburg. Is Elza allied with Elza? Oh, they're allied with Savoy. That's not an option. What about you? Ansbach. Oh wait, they they are in the trade league. So East Frisia is four then. Wait a minute, in that case Salzburg will be way better, because Salzburg is allied with the Anjbach. And they're an elected themselves, and Austria gets involved, and then they're in a trade league with the East Frisia, so that's also four, and then we'd only be fighting the people that we'd have to be fighting, so this is definitely gonna be one of the wars. Salzburg. And then who else? So we, yeah, we've got Anschbach, uh, Salzburg, East Frisia, and the Emperor. So we still need Augsburg, and we still need Mainz, and Trier. And this motherfucker. <clears throat> so, well, they're allied with Spain. This guy's losing a war. I don't think he's gonna get eaten though, but uh, let's see who he's allied with. So he's allied with. Um, well, it's three year, right? So that's one. And then he's allied with Liege. And that'd be two. And then there's uh, Wurzburg, Wurttemberg, and Liege. Yeah, well. <gasps> and his independence is being guaranteed by Mainz, that's three. And then the only thing I'd need is uh, Augsburg still. And they're allied by with Elsass. So if I then set Elsass as a co-belligerent, I'd bring in Augsburg, by, all by declaring war on Trier. So we'd have to fight two wars at the same time, one against Salzburg and one against Trier. So, but, uh, shit, this won't do, because if I do it like this, uh, I have to peace out Austria midway and then declare war on them again. Do I, for the second war, I have to declare war on someone outside of the the, the shit. So I'd have to declare war on Burgundy. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's not gonna happen. Oh wait, Burgundy is already in the war. Right. There is no way, goddamn. <laughs> oh man, I need to uh, I need to vassalize the people in the first war. Or the people in the second war, it doesn't really matter. Oh, man, my... How 
government is burning me up. Ugh. Which electors are allied with Austria? Ansbach, Augsburg, Ansbach and Augsburg. So Austria would be... Uh, Austria will be three. And then he's allied with... Burgundy, and if I said Burgundy is a co-belligerent... Oh fuck no, I'm not gonna be doing that. It's allied with Ansbach. Where did you go? Ah, right. So he's allied with Ansbach. Ansbach is part of that. Uh, is part of a trade league, but they're allied with East Frisia and Maine. So it, I have to declare a war in Austria. And then set Augsburg as a co-belligerent. And that brings in uh, Salzburg. That brings in Salzburg, East Frisia and Mainz. Right? It's one, two, three. And then setting Ansbach would bring in East Frisia, Mainz, and Salzburg. Then the only one I would need is Trier. Trier. He was allied with Würzburg, and somewhere along this line I declared war on Würzburg. No, wait, that, that won't work. I have to do it. Well, fucking shit. I'd be missing Trier. And that'd be the only one I'd be missing. Oh wait, no, I could just set Burgundy as a co-belligerent if I do that. Of course that would bring in Spain, for fuck's sake. bring in Spain and Spain must have like yeah they've got 160k oh yeah 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 I'm so pretty yeah I can imagine me wearing that helmet for four hours Wait, I'd be missing two. I'd be missing uh, two things here. I've only I've only got uh, three. Yeah, Augsburg. This guy. What about the Pope? Yeah, that won't do. Hold on, wait a minute. This is three, and then setting Ansbach as a co-belligerent adds an East Frisia means itself because that's another three. Oh wait, they're in a trade league with Württemberg. Yeah, but I can't set them as a co-belligerent because that'd be a triple co-belligerent nonsense. So that, that, that won't work. So who am I missing here then? Salzburg is free. I'm miss missing uh, Trier and uh, 
Anything else in this? What else am I missing? Ah, Trier and Liege. Right, but I could set Augsburg as a co belligerent to get to Liege. In. Oh man, this is way too complicated. This won't do. There's too many people, man. I'd be at war with Burgundy, Spain, Austria, and fucking Savoy. It's not gonna work. Let's get higher aggressive expansion for nice coalitions. Yeah. No, that won't work. Well, that's unfortunate. They just stack wipe my army right there. Of course, that was my bad. I just didn't see that to build up at all. Don't forget, you could bring Bohemia in on my side. That's true. And I could also bring um, the Ottomans in on my side. So we'd have Bohemia and the Ottomans on my side beating up Austria. I mean, that could work, man. That'd be a lot of people. It'd be a really big war, but it could work. And you can, I can peace out most of them. I, I just need to make sure that... To, see, I, I can peace out Burgundy, right? So wait, wait a minute, what, what do I have to do? So I dow Austria. I set Ansbach as a co-belligerent. And then I still need to get into a war with Trier and uh, Liège. Trier is allied.